Hello everyone, welcome back to my Rangers PES 2019 Master League series. It is me, Brummer18, and if you haven't seen episode 1 yet, be sure to go and check that one out before you take a look at this episode. It is a double upload day today, so if you are watching, welcome back on the day of the release of PES 2019. But going forward, obviously, last episode we got the win against Hamilton. It was coming, it was a tough one coming, but we did ultimately deserve the three points and we move on to the next one, Kyle Lafty and Alfredo Morelos getting onto the score sheet in that game. Next up, it is Hibs. They have started off with a win. And if you have a look at our missions here, uh, we, do, we did complete our first uh, mission, which they called on this game, which was to win our first match. So that is uh, a good start. Elsewhere in negotiations, obviously, we have, um, you know, we still have these scouts going out and trying to find players. We're not interested in these, you know, Chris Wood, Patrick Bamford, and Jordan Hugel, etc. We, um, you know, we're really looking for. Last episode, I, was, I, I said that you know we were looking for a, a rotation option. Yes, but preferably a young one that can develop. Um, you know, so that it, it does have a you know a real good point to it. Rather than just getting someone in just to fill out the bench and and have no no goal towards it, but yeah, we still got the scouts out there looking for centre halves uh, and a striker. But in the meantime, we're gonna press forward, and uh, I'm just gonna let you know I'm gonna skip these matches against uh, Leon in the in the Champions League qualification stages. You know, I don't think we should be playing in that in the first season. And if we have a look here, we've had offers. For uh, Ajaria and Morelos, that's worrying that Ajaria is receiving offers, considering the fact that Rangers do actually have him on loan from Liverpool in real life. Um, you know, that's really disappointing that that's in the game. So we're just going to flat out uh, reject the uh, the offer for Morelos. And, uh, and have a look at here. Seeing as Ajaria is on loan, I wouldn't feel right in, in accepting offers for him either at the moment. So we're going to reject those offers as well. But nevertheless, it is frustrating that, that they haven't factored in that, um, you know, these these players like Ajaria, like Ryan Kent, are actually on loan. Uh, and we actually lost to Leon as well, which is not a problem. You know, I'm fine with, with not being in it. Right, so moving on to the game, guys. This is the team that we have chosen to go today. One change. Wes Fodderingham actually comes in for uh, Alan McGregor. And the reason being is that Fodderingham has actually gone up a rating. Beforehand, they were both 72. Now, Fodderingham has gone up to 73. So, I feel, you know, it seems only right that I play him. Uh, on the bench, one change as well. Candeus comes onto the bench uh, ahead of Ryan Kent, just in case... We want to bring him on into that centre midfield role. I do believe Candeus can fill out a job there. Uh, Jamie Murphy as well. We we do want to try and get him in at some point. He's a good player in real life. You know, on this, he looks decent as well. You know, uh, so we would like to try and get him in at some point. But obviously, it's just trying to fit these players into this into this position, into this formation. But we'll we'll see anyway. We'll see how it goes. But for now, we're going to go with the same formation and so on that note it is time to get into the game hello good afternoon to uh, one and all like you we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days it's dry at the moment but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain there's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the dynamics of a match which has so much. Off we go then. Of course, a little bit of a rivalry between uh, Rangers and Hibs fans. Nothing, of course, in in the uh, district even of of you know the likes of the Old Firm Derby, but a little bit of uh, of a rivalry there. So you know we definitely you know got, need a bit of an edge in this game. As Morelos gets the ball early on here, and he's found the overlapping run of James Tavernier. Lafferty storming into the box. Great cross. Oh, unlucky. Oh, well done, Morelos. Our field pounces. I mean, it's, it's a great run. Nice little ball from Lafferty. Oh, it's unlucky. It's a good play, though. It's promising. We've started off fairly lively in this game. 
Nice little one-two there. And Morelos is unlucky. It's a hard one to deal with, that one is. Katic will come out onto this far side now. Oh! Oh! My God! I can't believe they haven't scored there. We've got... We've rode our luck massively there. And we have to capitalise on this now. Try and make our, our attacks count here. Oh, he's sent it through to Lafferty. He's got onto it. He's looking for Morelos, who's made the run across. Wow! He should... Should have done better there. He's got to. He's really. He's got to score. Really. The mark has lost him. It's a brilliant run across. Nice ball from Lafferty, but oh, I think he's got to score there. Personally, Barisic has got some space on the on the wing now, and Lafferty's trying to make that run. It's unlucky. Oh, it's nice play. Oh, right backs fell asleep at the back post. Barisic pounces. And it is 1-0. Sort of came out of nowhere, really. We sent the through ball in uh, from Morelos, I think it was. We were originally looking for Lafferty. Yeah, it was. We were trying to do the 1-2. But the right back fell asleep. And Barisic pounced onto it, making a brilliant forward run. And he's got his first goal for the club. As you can see there, yeah, it was pretty much just looking for the 1-2, but it, it goes ahead of Lafferty, and Barisic pounces on it. And a great start to the second half. We've got to be pleased with that. This ball. And Barisic, yet again, he's having a field day on this left-hand side, and he's in. Oh, and look who. Corner, and there it is. At that point, I'm going to make some substitutions because uh, the team's definitely getting tired, and it doesn't help that in midweek we had that game against Leon that uh, obviously I, I simmed, and that has taken a toll on the, you know, on the on the energy levels. We're going to bring so we're going to bring Flanagan on for Tavernier. We're going to take Jack off and bring Andy Halliday on as well. Um, and yeah, we'll leave it there for now. Two subs should be enough. Should be okay. Oh no, it's poor from Barisic. Wow, that's <laughs> we've got lucky there. John Flanagan, I can't tell if it was luck or brilliant defending. But we've managed to get away with it. Arfield's coming into the uh into the middle now and he's found Lafferty. Ah. Oh. Defender read it. But Arfield's found some space outside the area. Keeper saves. Oh, don't get onto that. Oh, he has got onto that as well. Oh, no. She poor defending from Connor Goldson. But Fodderingham claims. And if we go up here on, uh, on the pitch, it is full time. Just about. It's a bit of a nervy game towards the end. But I tell you what. We battled and managed to uh, find our way through. We had some, we had some chances, but you know, so did Hibernian. It was, it was a close, close game. But thankfully, we have made it through on the other side with another three points, and that takes us to six out of six for the season. So, a really good start for us, guys. And as we look elsewhere, the results: Aberdeen and Celtic drew. Hearts actually lost 4-0 to Motherwell, which is a shock, to be fair, um, given how well Hearts have started in real life. Um, and yeah, so uh, that takes us top of the table, but you know, not paying much attention to it right now. There's a long way to go, and all that matters is not the league table, but you know, just getting the points on the board. Right, so here we are, guys. We are on the scouting menu, and uh, we've had a we've had a couple of good suggestions. Joe Worrell is uh, Nottingham Forest, uh, who is a decent player, and also uh, Kyle Bartley as well, who is uh, is at West Brom, and he shouldn't be allowed to transfer on this because he's just signed. But for some reason, uh, for some reason he is. So I don't know. We'll see about it. But I don't know. Worrell is a uh, is a good option. He's he's right footed, I mean he's right footed. I would have liked a left footed player to go onto the left side of defence, but you know, we'll um we will go with it if if required. So I'm just gonna have a look at the stats here. I mean Joe Warrell was obviously young, so 
he can grow, which I think does give him the advantage. If we have a look here at the uh, prices, can we find the prices? No, we can't, uh, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I'm wondering, should we start start transfer negotiations? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Um, so I'm gonna haggle a little bit. We'll go. We'll go 3.1 million. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll go a little bit less. We'll go 2.9 and we'll give them a 10% selling on option. Um, and in terms of the player length, give him, you can't offer this player a contract longer than three years. Okay, that doesn't make sense, but fair enough. Uh, in terms of a salary, we're going to haggle here. His, his chances of signing are, uh, are high. So we're going to go with that. Release fee. I would like to turn release fee off. But oh, his chances of signing then decreases to, to 100%. So I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to go with this. We'll go for around 7.2 million. And I think we'll go with that, guys. Waiting for an official response. I'm hoping for one by uh, you know before the next game, so that we can we can get it done. We just uh, go next year. And as as a look here, you can see Barisic's uh, overall has increased to 71, which is very understandable because uh, obviously he's played he's played really well in the first two games. Transfer negotiations for Joe Wall have broken down, uh, and we also receive an offer for Graham Dorans as well. So first of all. We'll have a look at that Graham Dorans offer and see what they see what it is. So transfer fee, I think four million. Let's try and haggle a little bit more. Let's go for five million. Why not? Seventy-five percent chance of signing. Let's go for that. And meanwhile, if we go go here, negotiations failed. But the thing is, I'm not actually sure now if. Um, if uh, I can go in, when I can go in again, you know. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on him. But in the meantime, I don't know. Perhaps I should go for Kyle Bartley because we've only got a few days left in the transfer window, and uh, you know we do need a centre back. We have a look here at Kyle Bartley. So start transfer negotiations. Um, we'll go for this 3.3 .3 million. And we'll give him a 5% uh, sell-on clause. And we'll give uh, a four-year deal. Seems fair. And we'll go to the minimum salary because he's, uh, he's fine with the chance of signing 84%. Uh, we, in terms of negotiations with Bartley and negotiating with West Brom, 79%. So we're going to go with that and uh, see where it takes us. Hopefully we can get this deal done. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got this match against Leon, which we're skipping and you know we have got absolutely smashed out of that. Uh, Bradley's overall rating increased to 62, but of course we did transfer listing. And Lionel Messi wins the uh, best player in Europe award. Can't say uh, yeah, that means too much to us at this stage. Ah, here we go. We actually now have the UEFA Europa League uh, available to us because obviously we got eliminated from the Champions League playoffs, which means you do go into the Europa League. So that is actually better, guys. Um, we we will, in that case, be playing the Europa League games. So, yeah, that's uh, that's great. We'll, we'll go along with that. Uh, but in the meantime, can we get these negotiations done for Kyle Bartley before that game against St. Johnston? been an update in transfer negotiations for both of them so let's have a look here first of all we'll go to uh, Graham Dorans who we asked for 5 million they've upped it to 4.9 we will accept those terms I think that is a really good deal 4.9 million for Graham Dorans he's not in the first team and it does add to our salary budget as well so yeah I've got to say I'm pleased with that deal and meanwhile Kyle Bartley so they want 3.3 million as far as it stands it looks to me um, 
year and the salary. Woo. Let's have a look. I think that seems. I think that's fair. I know it's a tough one because. You know, we're also looking at Joe Wall and he's younger, but obviously we don't know where we stand in terms of when we can negotiate for him again. He would be a good signing. Um, do you know what? I think I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, a chance for 3.3 million. His annual salary 292,000. I only really know it in terms of weekly, so I'm not quite sure. You know what that means, but um, yeah, I think we'll go with that. And, uh, and it's a good signing, guys. 74 rated. Um, you know, I am a fan of Kyle Bartley. And we've signed him in time for the St. Johnston game as well. So, yeah, pleased with that signing. Um, where's he at? Oh, he doesn't come in till obviously, negotiations are finalised. So, we don't have him in time for the St. Johnston game. But it's okay. We should have him, uh, should have the deal done by the time deadline day is finished. Uh, and that is going to uh, finish this episode there off, guys. Uh, remember to check the affiliate link in the description if you are yet to buy Pez. You can get it for £24.99 as of the day of recording this. Uh, and the affiliate link gives us uh, gives the channel a little kickback as well. So I'll be really, really grateful to anyone uh, who does that. Uh, meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Uh, and like as well for more regular gaming and Pez content. Uh, if we just have a look at the schedule here, I want to plan which games I want to be back for. And I think I'm going to do a double header. We'll do the Motherwell game at home. And then we will do the first game in the Europa League group stage against Krasnodar. Um, I think that seems fair. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look forward to, to that as well in episode 3. And then look ahead to see what other games we'll do in other episodes as well. But yeah, so we're going to miss the... Well, you guys are going to miss the St. Johnson game. I will play it. And then we'll be back for Rangers Motherwell and Krasnodar v Rangers in the Europa League. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. That rounds this episode off there. And I will see you next time.